drying is because it does provide good results. It's most efficient, uses a high volume of air to dry the grain down gradually. Depends on grain moisture content, airflow, and outside conditions. So what we're trying to do is keep the, the temperature extremes like coming out of the dryer low, with low temp burners, keep those extremes that can lead to quality issues like stress cracks, any issues like that can leave our kernel and grain open to microbial <coughs> action and uh, different diseases. So in this example, what we're saying is that for 17 to 22%, we want one CFM per bushel or one horsepower per thousand. 22 plus, two CFM per bushel. Most fans produce 1,000 CFM per horsepower. Okay, so a 20 horsepower fan then produces 20,000 CFM. 20,000 CFM, good for 20,000 bushels. So, I'm not a math major, never was, never will be, but if we had a 20 horsepower fan, that means we can aerate with naturally grinding 20,000 bushels per year. Make sense? So what does that mean to us? How is that practical? The deeper the grain, the more horsepower we're going to need. The ideal grain depth for natural air drying is 20 foot of grain depth. Okay, ideal grain depth for natural air drying. Less or more than 20 feet takes a lot more horsepower to overcome that static pressure. Okay, so if we're trying to make any quality change, we look at these two bins right here, which are both 10,000 bushel bins. Okay, same capacity, no different. So if we're looking at this bin on the left, it's a three ring bin, 12 foot sidewall height, right? Great natural air grinding bin. So we have the same capacity on the right, 50 foot sidewall height. We're gonna have to have 30 times more horsepower to get the same amount of airflow to that grain up on top versus the one on the left. So if we had a 10 horsepower fan on this one, we're gonna need a 300 horsepower fan on that one. Okay, so this, Great natural air drying option. This one, not all the way up. You know, you could go to that level right there, let's say the 20 foot mark, and probably be able to do it. Our static pressure is going to be massive with the 300 horsepower fan. Okay? One of the biggest mistakes that guys will make is that they'll just say, if I just had another fan, more airflow, right? But when, when it's spec'd out properly, when it's spec'd out for the right amount of fans for that 20 foot of grain depth for natural air drying, once you add more fans, you're really not getting that much more airflow. And we can actually see it on that chart. You're actually adding a lot more static pressure. So you're just burning a lot more horsepower. You're not getting that much more airflow. And all that air that's trying to go in, in the bin through the grain is actually being dissipated right back off that fan. Your efficiency of the fan goes down. And like I said, then you cost of electricity goes up. So that's probably the biggest thing that the guys will run into. They put too much horsepower on the fan or on the bin. So let's focus a little bit on roofing. The perfect natural air drying bin would have absolutely no roof at all. And this is an old picture, the only one I can find, but not practical in real life. So the recommendation for natural air drying for roofing is one and a half square foot per horsepower. Remember our key point that air always follows the path of least resistance, right? It's going to channel to those roof vents too. So the less roof vents you have, and if they're down lower, it's going to channel that lower side of the roof. So you want them evenly spaced out, as many as you can get on that foot and a half uh, per horsepower in order to keep that basically like duplicating that open top bit. One and a half square foot per horsepower is our recommendation. We have a 20 horsepower fan, let's say, so we'll need 30 square foot of roof bed. Okay, so what does that look like? How do we figure out we have 18 inch roof fence, how do we convert it to square feet? So if we, had, if we needed 30 square foot, we have to convert that to inches to get to our 18 inch mark, divided by 18 inches right there. So a 20, we need 20 18 inch roof fence for a 20 horsepower. Yeah. The take home message about all of this, calculations, natural air drying, is that we make whatever you have more efficient, but just have correct expectations of what the equipment's gonna do and make the right management decisions when it comes down to grain levels and what you're trying to put in the bin. You know, I, I would say don't expect to put 24% uh, 40 feet up and get good results. Dry load store, one eight five five.